Hi everyone, welcome to Strike. In today's video, we are going to look at diffusion indicators and try to judge how can we figure out market tops and bottoms. So we have already done a webinar on sentiment and diffusion indicators and that is also present on our YouTube channel, which discuss in depth meaning and use of all the indicators and how to gauge market tops and bottoms. So this is a real life example on how you can analyze the same. So here is a chart of <coughs> Nifty mid cap 100. So this triangle pattern is been visible from a lot of trading sessions that had been forming from a lot of days. What also was noticeable that the number of stocks above their 20 day average were reducing day by day and making lower top and lower bottom. And in yesterday's session, the number was actually somewhere around 28. So it was actually lower than this number. In versus 29, it was just 28. So even if the market had not broken yet, the number of stocks below 20 day average had already signaled the same in the previous trading sessions. Now in conjunction to that, if you try to look at how many stocks were making new one month highs or one quarter highs. So this is a nine day average of stock number of stocks making new one month highs versus stock making new month, new one month lows. So this indicator went negative back on 6th March, which means that more stocks started to make new one month lows and this number kept increasing till yesterday. And finally this breakdown occurred. Now we had to had looked on a slightly longer term basis that is net new one quarter highs. Then that indicator went negative for the first time on 6th March, which means more stocks made new one month one quarter lows as compared to one quarter highs. and the number was increasing day by day. Now the same thing you would have saw, uh, seen for the small cap index as well, which broke down even before the mid cap index. It had already broken down a couple of sessions back, but the same thing was noticeable on the small cap index as well. Now adding up to all this uh, breadth indicators is when if you actually look at momentum signals on the chart of the particular index. So if I go to the mid cap index Rohit setup screen. So what I'm able to see here is you can see since 12th of February that is from this particular day. Let me draw that pattern here again. So since 12th of Feb, the Dow trend you, ca you can see has been into red, which means the price has stopped making higher highs and higher lows. So the uh, price action wise, the trend had remained down, but you can see that the RMI kept on giving new sell, new buy, new sell and new buy signals. It was whipsawing and even the price was not able to break and close below 20 day average properly. So what happened in yesterday's session was the RMI had give, already given a new sell signal here. Dow trend has been already bearish since 12th Feb. The 20 day average broke for two days in a row and it also closed below the 40 day average that is this one. So that the level yesterday was 48171 and we closed at 48086. So all the four parameters turned red on the daily chart yesterday, uh, yesterday itself. And today you can see how the big breakdown had followed. So I just wanted to share this observation is how you can read into market internals by going into the diffusion indicators for the particular index where you can see the breadth based on certain indicators, be it any moving average or RMI buy signals. Now you may say that the number is very low as in 3% which does look oversold. Does it, does it mean we are into the oversold zone in one day only and we will start bouncing up? So. For that, you can go back to slightly more history and see that the number tends to stay below in oversold readings for a while before it finally pushes back. So, of course, no trend is in straight line. You can see that there are always there are pullbacks like this and this and this, but the readings tend to stay in a certain zone before they finally push back up. So. That is the observation we have, we can, we have seen previously as well. No doubt, uh, three looks lower, but in, in case of such 
big reversals we can even look at a uh, bigger averages like the 50 or the 100 day so the 50 has also reached the 19th which is uh, first oversold line but previously we have seen it keeps it keeps gyrating in this zone before actually you know taking off so it it may take some time if we look at the 100 the stocks above 100 day average then we are still at 50 so previously we have once bottomed at close to 50 and the other time that is last year we kept falling all the way till this number is 20. so that's the different use of various different time frames you can check out these indicators on strike and understand the internals of different indices so we have nifty 50 mid cap 500 small cap and total market as well even on the total market that is 750 stocks we had noticed that the net new highs went negative on this particular day that is 6th march and we had also posted this uh, on our handles and social media this observation and you can see how it has also taken a breakdown of this particular pattern so stay tuned to our channel and let us know if you have any feedbacks or complaints we'll try to give you more such insights into the unique tools that strike offers so like share and subscribe to strike thank you